and so they have to fit me as much as I have to fit them. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, I was kind of my goofy old self and just uh, they got to see a little bit of who I was and I think it was kind of a equal equal thing where I really wanted yeah. to be there and they were excited to um, <laughs> so just talk to me. Once you got an offer, <laughs> once you got an offer, was it a no-brainer to come here? Or did you have yeah. stuff to think about? Yeah, no, I didn't even ask my parents or anything. Like <laughs> my parents were sitting right next to me. And I didn't even look over. Like, should I? Should yeah, I? Yeah. I was just it's like, yeah, I'm here. Why not go somewhere where you could have maybe played a little bit more, scored more, that kind of stuff? Yeah. Well, oh, is that your question? Yeah. Why? Oh, okay. Why wouldn't um, <laughs> you? Why, why not go somewhere else? Um. Well, I mean. You think about UConn and it's, it's UConn. Yeah. You know, why would I not take this opportunity of a lifetime? Um, and I knew coming here, it was so much more than just basketball. Um, yeah, I would say I wanted to get pushed and play at the number one school in, in the history of basketball. But it was, you know, it is kind of so close to my home. I'm only like six hours, but I have family in Connecticut. And um, it's just, it's so much. You walk in, you see the history. You know, there's just so much more built into it and, you know, the basketball capital of the world, why would I not want to be here? Yeah.